Road to GH will reveal exciting developments on Tuesday, December 3, 2024. First, Laura felt a surge of anxiety when she thought about the current situation. Her daughter, Lulu, had escaped from the hospital on a chaotic night, and everything seemed to be spiraling out of control. Laura couldn't understand why Lulu would do such a thing, but she suspected that perhaps her daughter was afraid of Cyrus, who had always created tension and anxiety in the family. These thoughts kept Laura endlessly worried for Lulu's safety, hoping that her daughter would find a peaceful place and escape all danger. The feeling of helplessness led her to reach out to Anna, a longtime friend and a police officer, for help in searching for Lulu. With her experience, Laura hoped Anna would be able to come up with effective search strategies to help her find her daughter in the safest possible condition. Anna was an experienced officer. While she knew that searching for a missing person was never easy, Laura trusted that Anna could help her in this crisis. Anna understood Laura's situation, and perhaps, with her connections and professional skills, she would be able to suggest viable search plans. Second, after a long time immersed in the pain of loss, Dante began to feel that the loneliness and emptiness were becoming unbearable. Sam was gone, leaving a void that nothing could fill. When he arrived at Maxie's house, Dante didn't waste any time before speaking up. He shared the mounting worries in his heart about helping Jason take care of Danny and Scout. This was not only a huge responsibility, but also a promise Dante had made to himself to fulfill his duties to Sam the deceased friend he always cherished. He didn't want the two children to live without emotional support, but he also didn't know how he could replace the presence of a mother. Dante pondered over how he could assist Jason and how to best care for Danny and Scout when everything had changed after Sam's death. Maxie listened to him attentively, without interrupting, and only when Dante finished speaking did she gently offer her advice. Maxie's words didn't change the situation, but at least they helped Dante feel that he was not alone on this journey. The conversation ended, but in Dante's heart, there was a small flicker of hope that no matter how difficult things got, he would not abandon his responsibility and would try his best to help the children and support Jason in taking care of them. Third, after being fiercely questioned at the trial by Alexis and the judge, Rick held firm in his position. He stated that his words to Christina were not slanderous, but the truth, even though they might be hard to hear. Rick explained that he had enough evidence to back up his concerns about Christina and that exposing the truth, no matter how painful, was necessary to protect her and those around her. Although he knew he would face negative reactions, Rick decided to stand by his views, believing that his actions were for the greater good. Of course, what he did enraged Sonny. Fourth, after Sam's death, Danny felt lonely and confused, especially as he faced such a huge change in his life. One day, he decided to open up to Jason and Carly, knowing they would always be there for him, no matter how life changed. During their conversation, Danny shared his deepest thoughts, his worries about the future without his mother by his side. He spoke of his fears, of not knowing what would happen without Sam to care for and love him. Danny hoped that, even though his mother was gone, he would still be able to find love and comfort from those close to him. Jason and Carly listened to him with great care and compassion. Carly, with her open heart, immediately hugged Danny, comforting him and assuring him that she would always take care of and love him as if he were her own child. Jason, though not one to often show his emotions, looked at Danny with gentle, sincere eyes. He promised Danny that, no matter how things changed, he would always be there for him, protecting and helping him in any situation. Jason's simple but warm words were a firm promise to Danny, in this world, he would never have to face pain alone. Finally, when Jason received an urgent call from Anna, he didn't hesitate for a second. Anna informed him that Lulu had escaped from the hospital, and the situation was critical. Despite being busy with other matters, Jason understood the gravity of the situation and couldn't leave Lulu, who had just woken up after being in a coma for four years, to face the outside world alone. He knew that if he didn't act immediately, it might be too late. Jason immediately set aside everything else, made a plan, and prepared himself to assist Anna in the search for Lulu. He didn't need any more time to think, this was just what Jason did whenever someone needed him.